Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Now guys, couple of words on the gold market. So gold market brings no surprise at all. So absolute, absolutely a logical action, so just perfect action. It's based even on the theoretical approach to the markets. It's just amazing. So gold market very rare shows such sort of the action. Well guys, uh, our bet on the Fed Reserve meeting uh, probably failed in terms that uh, we, we, we thought that they, they will give us some clarity or something of that sort. But actually they have said nothing. I just have talked about it in our weekly, uh, in our research on uh, forex market. Um, they just have said that uh, situation with the rates will depend on the fundamental data and statistics that we will get from the economy, United States economy. So uh, that's why market has got no hints, no probable um, some uh, clarity on some moments. Uh, not nothing special. That's why the consumer reaction is really mild. In fact, nothing has happened. Uh, that's why we, are, we will follow to a technical situation that we see. As we said yesterday, the market has completed this butterfly pattern and now we are ready to get some retracement down. At the same time, guys, if market really has intention to continue move higher to the next target, and this is really possible, retracement down here should not be too significant. We think that market could reach an area somewhere 1 or 8, 1, 11, 11, 11, 6, 11, uh, 10 area. So market could retest just this top. Because you can see market right now is not at ever bad. Market right now is not at some FIP support. So FIP support stands slightly higher. It's right here. And this is not the major level. This is a level from the thrust down. In this thrust, the major 618 from this top to these lows stands even higher probably right at the same point where a butterfly will have the will, will have the 1618 extension so around 1145 probably somewhere in this area that's why if market really has intention to show a deeper action to the upside further action, action to the upside the retracement should not be too significant so let's try to estimate the target of this retracement fortunately guys on the follow time from chart the pattern has been formed that give us the first hint but before that, uh, we will take a look at how market behaves yesterday. So let's see how market has completed our expectation on this another leg up. Yesterday we have started our conversation right here. Market starting to fall to, to uh, fall into retracement. We said probably market will show minor action to the upside a bit more because major target 1618 from this A B C bottom has been reached. Although market has completed this minor butterfly and classical target of the and shoulders they are has less value compares to this ABCD and compares to daily butterfly that hasn't been quite reached in the moment where we have started the discussion yesterday and that's really has happened so you can see this final spike up this also was the washing rinse of these tops so market already has started to take the shorts this drop uh, this uh, this uh, rally has grabbed these tops that have been placed here and you can see immediately return right back down uh, this just tells that this is that's just technical action washing rings and hitting of this target. That's why, guys, I do not like to take the positions with the heaven on the back untouched targets. As every time when you do this, you have the risk to see something of that sort. That's what about yesterday's analysis. So today, guys, take a look. We have the bear, we have the double ripple sell pattern here. Frost up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine candles even more close below the 3 by 3 close above and creating the new top close below should happen as soon as it will happen we will get the confirmed double repo pattern based on this action that we see right now this probably should be confirmed the target of this uh, pattern stands very close this is mostly the scalp trade 11.10 area 11.11 probably it's better to say as you can see that's also former tops here 
and that probably will be an area of the possible retracement on the daily chart. So if market will drop lower and moves lower, in this case, guys, the chances on the further upward continuation will become smaller. So uh, as deeper market will drop on this retracement, as less chances on further continuation. This will not mean that gold market is losing its bullishness, but uh, you should understand that gold market stands a long time on the bearish trend, and it can't just reverse up immediately. Uh, the bearish momentum is still pressing on the market, and that uh, keeps the hazard of deep retracements, uh, strong pullbacks, but we still think, as we have said in our weekly research many times, that the role of the gold in, uh, in the world economy is changing right now. We see that demand for the gold is growing, and you can see it by, even by the, by the price action, but this will not happen very fast. That's why it's not really the strategy if market will drop even to the level even area. Uh, it, it will not mean that uh, it's, it's, uh, market has failed and start to move down even further. No, we should be ready just for now for deep retracements on the gold market because market not in the bull trend right now yet. I mean in the long term perspective. That's why yes, we would like to see the another leg up to the 1150. That will be great. But uh, we should not be too upset if we will not get it. Still, uh, right now we will be watching for this retracement. If you are a scalp trader, you would like to take this scalp short position with a potential A8, 10 bucks per contract. You could keep an eye on the double repo pattern. Another guys pattern that also hints on the possible retracement stands on the hourly chart and it's uh, 16183 drive sell pattern. It's a bit uh, ugly looking pattern. Because uh, usually normal uh, three drive sell usually shows the exhausting of the up bullish power, so reversal pattern. But here we see opposite opposite action. So this is when the upper direction has become even stronger rather than exhausting. So we can see this first retracement strong move up one six one eight. Again minor retracement again strong move up, but. All of this upper direction stands at 1618 extension of the retracement. That's why I have called it as the three drive, but it's a not narrowing of three drive, it's some kind of the let's call it widening of three drive or something of that sort. So this has some features of the megaphone pattern. But still I think that we could treat it as the three drive mostly due to the market mechanics since this upper direction was mostly stop grabbing and upper direction has accelerated when the stops has been hit. So then market has dropped lower and take a look that's upper direction already has been erased. That's why the, mi the minimum target of the three drive as you know is taken out of the lows between the first uh, and between the second and third drive. So this minimum target. Uh, th this pattern is interesting for us not by its target but because it stands already very close and we will not trade this pattern. But this pattern is interesting for us in relation to the double repo sell. Because if these lows will be taken out, then it's probably double report should be confirmed. And it means, consequently, that we will get a retracement down. So that's what's really interesting. So guys, personally, I probably will not trade this market on the short side of the market. On the short side right now. Uh, because until market stands above this area, it's still possible for the upward continuation. That's why, personally, I will wait for the ending of the retracement here. And we'll watch what will happen around 11.10 area. But if you're a scalp trader, you, you trade on hourly chart, on this 30 minute chart, it's not really forbidden to try to take the short as soon as market will confirm this pattern. So, right now, uh, that being said, the daily traders are watching for retracement down. The scalp traders could try to trade market on the short side as soon as uh, they will get the confirmed bearish patterns.